Sup everybody, uh, today I'm going to be taking a look at a game given to me by my close friend CKing177 on Steam, Dungeon Souls. It's a top-down, roguelike, retro-styled kind of game. So I'll give you a look at it here. First you uh, choose your class, and there's more that you could unlock uh, with gameplay and challenges and stuff. And then you uh, roam around uh, like randomly generated uh, dungeons in the game. So let's get in here. So let's venture around. Well, first, let me do these skill things. I'll just use that, whatever. I'm not leveled up. So in each dungeon, there are these. Um, if I get to one, see this little symbol right here. And you, when you step on it, it gets activated. And then there's a whole horde of enemies that you gotta kill. And then you kind of like cleanse the shrine. And you see you get gold, you get all these items that you could pick up and stuff like that. Um, because there's, I guess, like a crafting element, which I have not messed with. But um, I have played a little bit of the game like this. But once you clear all of those symbols in each dungeon, which I, I guess in this one there's five, um, a big dude comes out and he hunts you down and tries to kill you while you make your way back to the starting position. And once you're in the starting position, there should be a, a portal there that will take you on to the next dungeon. So let's uh, get through this dungeon here. Let's get through this. So you can see I just leveled up. I guess while I'm doing this, I'll talk about uh, uh, tech stuff with the game. So it seems to run at a locked 60 frames per second, even though I'm way capable of higher than that. And um, my refresh rate's at 120, so that's weird. Um, there was one technical issue that um, I had when I first uh, tried to play the game, and that was um, I was unable to use parts of the menu, like starting a game, the essential part of the game, and um, unless I disabled the controller, which I don't have one connected or enabled. So I had to disable controller in the game to um, be able to hit enter properly, which is strange. Oh. I'm not sure um, if it's been patched and fixed, but um, if you need to, um, if you encounter that problem, I should say, then uh, just disable controller support in the options menu. I haven't tested it with controller. I'm not a controller kind of guy. I like the old mouse and keyboard a whole lot better. This guy's real slow. I played a couple of the different classes. But this guy walks so slow. Uh, Necromancer was fun. I, ha I unlocked him pretty quick after playing as just the regular axe dude, whatever he is, barbarian. I don't know what he is. I kind of do wish this game was uh, 120 hertz or higher, or just any old hertz. I don't see any reason why it would be limited. Did I get all the things? Where, where's the last thing? Did I not step on that? No, I did. Okay, so let's buy something. Because there are shops also. Because all that gold, you gotta spend it. You know what? I could upgrade stuff, can't I? So what's that? That's right mouse button. That didn't help. That didn't help. I'm almost dead. 
Oh, that's not a that's not a good time. Okay, I want this level to be over. I guess up. Yeah, that map is that's a, a challenge. Oh, and there you go. I'm dead. And you can see that's the recap that happened. So let's try a different character here. Well, first let me show you. So controls. You got keyboard. You got controller. And see, I'm hitting escape because every other game you hit escape and you go back. And this game plays by its own rules. So right here, you see enable gamepad. Its default was enabled. So disable it and then gives you error controller not connected. But now your game should work fine. You can see you can pick any resolution. Works pretty good. You got, I guess, my mute. Yes, mute. No. That's weird. Learn how to words. You got options. You could have screen shake. Disable that. W right. White red flashes. Auto cast. Auto pickup. Glow. HP. Map frame. Smooth camera. Vertical sync. And see, vertical sync isn't taking it to 120. So you know, whatever. There you go, I hit back and then it restarts the main menu, which is why. So let's try Necromancer. And this is where you could get into seeing the different skills. So Necromancer could summon crap. Let me step on that. Now I could summon a whole bunch of skeletons. And he has like, a, it's like a homing spell thing, which is pretty neat. Let's see, I got my skeleton horde. They're cool. They're cool guys. They chill on the weekends, you know. And I guess this could have a lot going for it. I don't know. Let me get that bone, because I guess you could pick up bones. You know, bones are important. You gotta donate your bones to help Richard Dunn. So I don't know what that guy is, but he's weird. He like teleports from nothingness every once in a while. I guess I would maybe want like a, a monster encyclopedia in the game. I mean, I, I don't want it, but you know, just maybe it'd be helpful for what some of these things are. that and I can also have stat upgrades that I could do. So what do I want? What do I want? I wanna run real fast because I'm cool. Sure. See now I'm going right through this. Slicing through this level. So what do I got? A potion of risk. Stronger knockback. Sure. Under that business. And there you go, portal. So now next level. You got chests, you got items, you got stuff. I guess if you're a fan of stuff, you might like this game. Now, do you like stuff? Who doesn't like stuff? I like stuff. I'm not a fan of this, though. I'm not a fan. I'm not liking it. Hate it. It's horrible. Nah, I'm joking. Let's see, you get there's uh, little traps. I didn't really talk about them in the first level because they really weren't a problem, but you gotta have some timing to get through them. In there. Be self explanatory.
Let's see if I get to the boss. Come on, hit him. Oh, look at me, nerd. Another store here, I got some beer. I can't pick up anymore. So, with that. I'll show you the, the Redeemer dude. I'll let him come come and get me. You are not going to escape. That's that's Mr. Redeemer. So now we got boss fight. So let's uh Get some damage going here. The boss fights are a mix. Well, at least this boss fight. I don't. I don't think I've gotten to another one. It's like a mix of bullet hell and just enemies. And you could stop the bullets. Which is always nice. I really want that health potion, but he's like hovering on it. Got his little skeleton head and his little skeleton chest. And there's his little skeleton items. So, let's talk about the developer of the game. The developer is, uh, we got Lamana Studios and Mike Studios, and they haven't seemed to have made any other games at least listed on Steam. But the publisher is Black Shell Media, and they've released a whole bunch of, uh, well, at least published a whole bunch of roguelikes and little indie uh, games. And uh, to me, it seems like maybe they're, they like this kind of game, or they're just uh, throwing a whole bunch of darts at a board and seeing what, you know, ends up being a bullseye. So, yeah. Check out this game if this kind of game is right up your alley. It reminds me of Necrodancer, if you've ever played that. Like the game's, uh, 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 it's almost exactly this game. Uh, maybe I need to actually do more research about the developer. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. But um, yeah, check it out if you want. I, don't know, I really don't care. Bye.